Hello guys, have you ever played your Hellcat and thought, okay, well, this is a really great TD, I like the speed, I like the gun, but it would be nice to have something like this in uh, higher tiers. Well, in 8.5 it will be possible. I'm on the test server right now and I will be giving you a preview of the Leopard prototype A. But, uh, the Leopard 1 will follow later. Like I mentioned, this plays a lot like the Hellcat. Why? It's a German tank. How can it play like a, the fastest TD in the game? Well, because it's the fastest tier 9 medium tank. If you don't believe me, 65 top speed, 20.98 uh, HP horsepower per ton compared to the others. Let's look at the lower unit. That's a fast tank. Ah, 60 only. And 25 horsepower per ton, which is better. But Leopard still has the better top speed, and Leopard can do that easily. Even if it's a little rough terrain where it's going. Pattern only has 48 and 19 HP ton. Centurion only has 40 and 18 horsepower per ton WZ has 56 and 16 horsepower per ton T54 56 and 20 horsepower per ton and then of course there's T50 the 60 and the speed limit and 18.5 horsepower per ton so Leopard it is fast and the gun, I mean, you all uh, know the LS7A1 Royal Ordinance gun on the Centurion by now, I guess, which is also in the F FV4202, tier 10 British medium tank. Well, now the same gun, and I mean exactly the same gun, the same name, the same stats, it's all the same is on the Leopard prototype A and well in Centurion it's really accurate on the move same thing on the Leopard except Leopard has 25 more top speed so yeah does it remind you of the Hellcat yet? well if that's not enough for you then look at the Highway well actually you can't look at it because there's none of it most of it that it has is 70 on the upper plate of the front armor and well that won't stop anything artillery will always penetrate you that sounds a little bit familiar Hellcat maybe? yeah and uh, well it's a Hellcat 49 really but just compare the stats to uh, well, you can't forget about the armor really. Only thing that has worse armor in tier 9 is the Lorraine. But I've already talked about the uh, uh, speed limit and how fast it is and all of that. But look at the traverse speed 42. Let's look at the others. Pattern 38, 32 for the Lorraine, for the Centurion it's 32, 46 for the WZ. T54 as 48. That's the best one now on the tier 9. And oh, 26 for the E50. That's not good. And uh, Leopard 42, which is the second best for a German tank. Second best. Oh my god. Is this even a German tank, really? Maybe they just stole it from somewhere. Hmm. Uh, Tower speed is not that good, only 36, but it's still, uh, I think it's better than yeah, E50 has 30, but it's uh, not that bad. And, well, now let's move on my, to my favorite thing about this tank, the gun. We will compare it to the other tier 9 medium tanks. Here are the guns of all of the tier 9 medium tanks and 
right off the bat, we can get rid of the Centurion Mike 7 score because, as I already said, it's exactly the same. Now we have uh, 6 guns left, and uh, well, I should note that I chose the on the T54, I chose the 100mm T. Uh, 10 to C, 10 T 2 C. Hard to say that one, uh, because well I haven't played it before, but this is the gun I would use because it has more rate of fire and more accuracy. The other one has uh, its worse accuracy, less rate of fire, and better penetration basically. But let's compare the, all of the guns with the Leopard for types A. Royal Ordiner's L7A1 gun. As you can see, the L7 gun has the worst rate of fire. With the best one going uh, to the. Which one? Ah, the T54 guns. 7.69. And of course, the rate of fire on the Lorraine is a little bit different because it has the magazine. So it has to reload sometimes, very long time. Uh, but well, now there's a well, there's only one candidate for the penetration, really. It's the little part. 268 penetration on a tier nine medium tank. I mean, uh, nobody else even comes close. Lorraine has two. 232 penetration, others have 201, 220, 218, 215. I mean, not even close. And looking at the damage, that's even that is on the higher end of 390. Same as on the pattern and on the A50. The other ones have a little bit lower. And <laughs> next good thing about this gun, the accuracy. 0.32 accuracy, and in only the E50 has the same accuracy and the same aiming time. So, well, all of you who have played the E50, you know how accurate this gun will be. And if you know how accurate the pattern, which has uh, 0.42 accuracy, you know both of the patterns, tier 9 and tier 10, they have legendary uh, accuracy on the move. Well, Leopard has the same accuracy on the move. It means this is basically the most accurate gun on tier 9 medium tanks on the move and while stationary, with the best aiming speed also. Well, do I need to say more about this gun? It's great. Now, what uh, equipment and crew skills should you have on the Leopard Predator? Once again, these are just my opinion, what I would like to have on the Leopard. And well, you might have a different playstyle, different taste on what you want to hear from your tank. But these are my recommendations. First of all, you need the tank gun rammer because it has the lowest rate of speed of any tier 9 medium. And uh, well, it is really slow for a medium tank, so you want to get most of the gun you can. And uh, well, this might set up really enhanced gun later I for uh, faster aiming and vertical stabilizer to help it. Well, snipe on the move actually, it is that accurate. But, uh, well, you could swap with enhanced gun later or the vertical stabilizer if you want for something else. And, well, the first time comes, what else? Improved ventilation, well, always a good choice. Uh, red ammo rack, that actually might be a good choice if you don't have safe storage because. The Amarak, at least historically, and it seems in game also from uh, my experience, I've been Amarak two times, once with the Leopard prototype and once with the Leopard 1. 
they have Damarak right here. That coupled with the non existent armor, really, is that, well, you get a lot of hits on your armor rack, and if you can protect it with, protect it with uh, red armor rack or safe storage, that would be a good thing. So, red armor rack, not bad choice. Spore liner. Hmm, might be. It doesn't have. <laughs> it doesn't have armor, so it gets a lot of damage from artillery and some protection against that might be a. Eh, well, I would rather take something else really. Uh, coated optics might work. You can work a little bit as a scout with this, but I would recommend that more for the low part one. So really. Red armor rack or ventilation instead of the vertical stabilizer in house gun later I could work, but I always want the most of my gun, so this is my setup for most of my tanks. Well, fighting tanks at least. And the crew skills. Commander. Always, always six sense. You want that absolutely because you want to know when you're spotted in this tank so you can get away from there because you don't want to get shot at. And then repairs. I always want to get my Thorax up as fast as possible. And uh, actually, Jack of all trades is left over from something I want to try it out. Maybe it's maybe a good. I'm not sure yet. Might switch it for the uh, recon or situational awareness because some extra new range is always good. Not really point of eagle eye or anything else on the radio operator, except of course the situational awareness. On the gunner, snapshot, definitely making this gun so deadly. And then repairs and then firefighting because I didn't want anything else from the gunner. Uh, well, firefighting is actually only for it because this crew is from my E50. I haven't had that problem with the uh, Leopard, so my mind changed the firefighting for uh, camouflage or, or or something else. Hmm. Armor? No, I don't like it. No. Camouflage, maybe, yeah. Because this has more camouflage value than the huge E50. And driver. Uh, driver skills, I like them. Smooth ride, so fun. Off-road driving, so good. And then repairs, again, for the same reasons as before. On the loader, definitely go for the repairs first. Once that hits 100%, switch to safe storage and start off repairs again. And then I put on firefighting, but again, I would change that for camouflage. And that's it for the equipment and crew skills. And, well, the whole preview, really. I'm really, really looking forward to this tank and the tank that comes after it, of course. And that will be my next preview. If you see a huge annotation in the middle of the screen right now, that means I have finished that preview and you can click that annotation and well, look at the preview of the level one. If there's no annotations, I'm not finished with it. But I do hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys next time.